Hello my beautiful and welcome back to my channel and to this video where we are gonna try out the new Ofra and Jen Loves Reviews collab and also the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie. So we are gonna try out both of these things plus I'm throwing in a new highlighter in the mix. We're gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna let you know what I think and I am so excited to be trying these things out. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie. Hello, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful makeup. So I'm super excited to be digging into the colorful side of this collection. And if you wanna see more color on your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload several videos a week. Now, 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 oh my God, I am so, so excited about this video because I did get sent this by Ofra. This is the Ofra and Jen Loves Reviews. This lip set is called the Metamorphosis Lip Set. This is basically a like mixing set to mix with other lip liquid lipsticks if you have shades that don't look exactly the way you want them. I will link Jen's video down below so you can have a peek at her thought process behind these. And I am not on the Ofra PR list. So this was probably sent to me due to Jen. She probably thought of me and had them send this to me. So thank you so much, Jen. I'm so excited to be trying these out. These are the normal Ofra uh, liquid lipstick formula. So I'm probably going to be wearing only these on my lips. But you can mix these with others. Of course, you can mix other lipsticks together as well. And I think it's a really important thing that Jen all reminded us that we can mix lipsticks to get the thing that we want. I love the Ofra liquid lipstick formula, so I'm super excited to be trying these out on my lips. I also bought this, I bought myself. This is the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie uh, collection. This is two uh, lashes. It is the Lovely Lashes, which are meant to be more of a everyday not so dramatic lash but I will say I think that these are pretty dramatic as well and then there is the can't be bothered these are so long these lashes are so 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 long it's absolutely crazy and it says 3d cruelty free luxe lashes up to 30 wears I think it's important that they put this on the packaging because sometimes I think we forget like I don't but I, th I hear a lot of people not remembering that lashes can be used so many times. I use my lashes at least 20 times before uh, they break, so to speak. So this is the palette. I saw the release video from Robbie Beauty Christie. I also linked that down below. And she, I mean, her release video was so good and Jen's release video was so good as well. I'm so excited that these two ladies are given the opportunity to make collabs in this industry. I adore both of them so much. I met Jen, she is so sweet. She is in my New York and Ipsy Live vlog, if you wanna see when I meet her. And Christy, I hope one day I'll be able to meet Christy. She is definitely one of my idols here on YouTube. I feel like both of these ladies are showing that you can be yourself and do your own thing and still be successful. And that's, that's what I wanna do. Like, I wanna be me. I wanna be me on this platform and be the, the person that I am and still hopefully be successful. So this is the palette. It is a double-sided pressed pigment palette. Basically, pressed pigment means that some of the dyes used in here are probably picked because they are vegan and some of those are not tested by the FDA in US to be considered eye safe, but in Europe they are. So I would call this an eyeshadow palette because if this was a European brand, this would have been a eyeshadow palette. It's weird sometimes how things like that is. It is a neutral side, which is probably not the side that I'm gonna be digging into today. You know, I'm not all about the neutral life, but I'm. I'm happy it's here. I love mixing neutrals and colors, but that is a lot of browns. Okay, I'm gonna be playing with the colorful side. That has a lot of fun things, and I love the way that Christy explained this to be a more muted and wearable rainbow, and I think that that is a nice thing. She included a white. I love playing with both whites and blacks, so I wouldn't, I don't mind if it's a white or a black, but I'm gonna see if I can use the white today in this look, um, and let me know if you wanna see some more things with this, um, these, things, these collabs, because I could definitely make more videos happen. I'm just doing a bit of a first impression today to see how it is. I do have my face on, but I don't have a highlighter on because I did purchase, I made an order for Makeup Revolution. Yes, I know I'm crazy. Don't judge me. I see you over there with your judgy eyes. Okay, stop. <laughs> and I did pick up this one. I threw this in the basket. I bought another one of these highlighters. This one is in focus. I bought one of these before. I don't remember which shade, but and I wanted, I said when I reviewed it that I wanted to pick up this highlighter in another color just to see if this highlighter is the formula is good or if I just got lucky with the other one. 
it does look as good as the other one though. I'm just gonna spray my face because I did do this, uh, I did this, this face makeup a little while ago and then I went out with the dogs. So I'm just gonna refresh my face before I go in with the highlighter. I need a brush. Okay, this is my favorite highlighter brush for a powder highlighter, it's the Nabla highlighter brush. And this is a baked formula, so I really like these fluffy brushes for that. Yeah, this is definitely the same good quality as the other highlighter. So yeah, I can tell you that then, that if you were interested in XX Revolution, out of the things that I have tried, I can only recommend the highlighter. But I can really recommend the highlighters because they are extremely glowy and extremely wet looking. And no glitter, just a nice sheen. So yeah, I do recommend those, but the rest, the rest you can live without. <laughs> Take my word for it. Am I gonna start with the lipsticks maybe? I think I'm gonna start with this one, which is the mid shade that is called Refine. And I think I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. I love the Ofra lip liquid lipsticks. I love the sm smell of them. And then maybe I'll lighten them up a bit. This is a nice darker brownie mauve. I love this lip color on its own a lot. I think it's really pretty. I think I'm gonna deepen up the edges a bit with this Reimagine. And just see how... It helps if you're not as sloppy as me. Like a lot. I am a klutz, I am a klutz. And let's do a little of revive in the middle. I feel like this is something that I could definitely use. Mm. Mm -mm. That's not too shabby. Hmm? I like that. Okay, let me go in with some eyeshadows. I'm actually gonna start, listen, who am I? But I'm gonna start with this one. Mm, moo point? <laughs> moo. I'm gonna start with that one. I'm also having rosé wine and Sprite. It's not all wine, I promise. It's Sprite. Most of it. Half of it. Almost half of it. Oh yeah, ooh, there's some kick up with this one. Oops. Yeah, go, go easy with these. Definitely some kick up. And Krista did say that in her video and I did not listen. If you hear something in the background, there is my dog. I am just gonna put this in the upper crease. <laughs> Do you hear that? Oh my god. Are you bored? I think he's a bit bored. No need to clean your penis now. Sweet! This blended out very effortlessly. It was a nice cool tone like pinky purpley mauvey transition shade to have in my crease before I go in with the other shades. I'm just using a very fluffy brush. This is a Cleonad it doesn't say which one, it's on one of these, with these handles. I've only used pure eyeshadows once before, and that was the My Little Pony palette, and I liked that one, but not a lot of people did. A lot of people really disliked that palette, but I liked mine. I had a lot of fun with it. I did declutter it in my last declutter, and the only reason was that, like, I didn't reach for it because I had so many other colorful palettes and also no one was asking for videos on it because it was a bit old. So I gave it... Uh, who did I give it to? I don't remember. I think someone took it that wanted to try some colorful makeup. Oh, it could have been the girl that's uh, a dog sitter at times. She might have been the one that's actually owning that one now. I don't remember. But I thought that that formula was nice. But I think that so far this one is even nicer. This is a nice matte shadow. But this isn't a first impression of me trying pure. But I've only tried them once before and it was several years ago. So it might as well have been a first impression, let's be honest. What am I doing? Famous last words. I'm gonna use the purple in the outer corner and then the teal. And the green, I think, in the inner part here. That is the plan right now. This this could change. Oh, here I have a brush that's already dirty with some purple. Perfect. This is a Nabla Precision Soft Crease. I really like this brush set from Nabla that has these see-through handles. That brush set is really nice. It's one of the brushes that I use like first after I like wash my brushes. Ooh. So now I'm using Tribute, which is the purple. This one did not have as much kick up in the pan, or maybe I was more careful. No, I don't 
think it has as much of the pinky one. Just softly going in with this in the outer V and like half the crease. And then I'm just going back with this brush that I used for the pink and I'm just softening the edges a bit. Also, sorry if I'm out of focus. I am the worst. I think this is okay. There's a lot of seagulls that are like up and awake today. They are really going at it. That turned out really good. I do have a spot here that just never really takes color and I don't know why. If it's just... It doesn't like it doesn't matter what eyeshadow I'm using that spot just does not want to have color I honestly have no idea what's going on just an angry teen that does not want to cooperate anyways let's ignore that because it's it's being a mess but other than that I think it looks really nice let me see if I can switch brushes to the green this is a Sigma small tapered blending I hope I am in focus and I'm Picking up Garden State, which is that like cool toned, cool toned green. It's like a dark mint. And ooh, that is pigmented. Let's see if we can get a little green moment here. Ooh, it's got some kick up, but I really did go in. This one did have a little bit, bit more of a fallout. I'm actually taking a little bit of the white now, just to soften this up. That is a very pigmented white, oh my god. To just lighten this. As we blend it upwards. Do I want to meet here? Do I want to take a little bit more here? Here's another one of the Nabla brushes. This is a pointed crease and I'm gonna use Hurtful which is that teal now and I am gonna put that in the outer part of my lid and just in the outer V to deepen this part up before I use some of the white. Well, more of the white I should say. That is very pigmented and I did get a little fallout. I'm taking the exact same brush and now I'm taking some of the purple and I'm just pressing that on the edge and blending. Now I'm taking a pencil brush, this one happens to be from Kaleidos and I'm taking that white and I am gonna press it where I don't have any eyeshadow and then I'm gonna mix it in and fade it in with the other shadows. So I'm starting with just pressing and now I'm just gently flicking it into the other colors. Probably gonna have to go over with the... So it's like go in between brushes so it becomes <laughs> the best blend we can achieve. Something like this. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other eye, but let me just finish up so we can do the lower lash line so I can just, so I can just finish this eye up. I'm using some of the green and I'm gonna do basically the same and I'm doing some of the blue closest and then taking some of the purple and mixing under. And then making sure that they meet on the other side because it's never that nice when they're not meeting up. You want them to be like friends, you know? You don't wanna have <laughs> you don't wanna have a border in between. So this is gonna be this is gonna be how it looks. I am gonna what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna do some mascara. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some mascara. I'll come back. Eh. My dog is sleeping on the floor and he has moved my lights so I can't see my viewfinder right now. So we're just gonna hope that I am in focus and in frame. But this is what it looks like with some mascara and now I'm gonna put on one of the falsies. Should I just... Okay, it's so weird that I can't see the viewfinder. Should I pick these? This is the Can't Be Bothered, the really big ones. They are so big though. That is what she said. Okay, let me put these on, actually. I think I'm gonna have to cut them a bit. But they 
these are so long but I have a lot of lid space so I don't think that these are gonna touch my uh, brows because I don't like when uh, the lashes touch my brows it's a thing I don't like it <laughs> can I just say this went whoo welcome to party town these lashes are intense can't be bothered yeah I cannot be bothered I will say if I <laughs> If I open my eyes, you can see that these are almost touching my brows. For me, these are slightly too long. I think, I don't mind how long they are out here, but I like when they are a bit more flared in here. They look nice on, but there is no way in hell that you can make these look subtle. These are not subtle. These are like, plonk, plonk. These are, la these are lashes. Okay. Now that we have established that these are lashes, wow, Angie. Genius. Genius at work. I'm gonna use a bit more of the white and I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh. That escalated quickly. And I'm just gonna put a bit in my inner corners and... What happened here? <laughs> ah! Send help! Okay, okay. Is that better? It's okay. Uh, these are intense. Intense. Should I be... Am I done? Am I done? I could be done. I used the prawns. Prawns. <laughs> oh my god, I told you, I told you. Let me zoom out. Okay, am I? <laughs> okay. So this, this, this is what I look like. <laughs> this is what I look like. Anyways, I like this. I like all of this. I think this looks cute. I'm gonna film more. So far, I really enjoy this. I think that this is a nice um, matte colorful formula. This is a first impression. I've used five of the shades, but the five shades I used were nice. The least pigmented one, if we're gonna put it like that, is the purple one, but that is usually the case with every purple, but still, I mean, you see, it, it looks nice. The highlighter looks absolutely gorgeous, as gorgeous as the, as the other one from Excess X. X, X Revolution, so if you want to buy something from them, I do recommend the highlighter. The lipsticks are the same beautiful formula as Ofra always has. I think that my, uh, like, I don't know how much I will be mixing. It's not really how I do my lipsticks. I'm too lazy. I say sitting here with this very high maintenance look, but when it comes to my lips, I am lazy. But I do like how these look together. They look really nice on me, and the mid shade is a perfect darker nude on me. So I am pleased with all of this. Thank you. Good mail day. Good mail day. This hair though, not too pleased with that, but it's the hair I was given. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see something more with this. Do you want to see three looks with this? Do you want to see me mix sticks with lipsticks? Do you want to see... Let me know. And also don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna have so many videos next week. So many videos next week. I also had so many videos this week, so don't forget to check those out. Yesterday I had the 12 worst releases of 2020 so far. So if you want to see me dish in some makeup, that is the video to watch. Tomorrow we are doing new makeup releases as per usual. There are so many things I need to talk about because last week I was away because I was getting married. <laughs> and I also have a video next week talking about that. I get ready with me, redoing my makeup look for f that I had on my wedding and uh, talking a bit about the wedding. But that's going to be it. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!